Once you've watched this last movie, you'll be ready for the fun bit. By now, you should have prepared your installation plan, and you'll have ordered all your incognito components. Incognito can be installed during construction or renovation of a home, as electrical wiring or plumbing would be. Or, because the cables are so discreet, it can be retrofitted, just like an alarm system or phone extensions. For the purposes of this video, we will assume that it's being installed during a fairly major refurbishment. Our couple's house in South London was being renovated, so the inclusion of incognito during this refurbishment programme added very little cost or additional work. The critical part of the incognito installation process is the connection and distribution of the CAT5 cable via RJ45 plugs. Extra care must be taken when connecting the CAT5 cable as any errors will result in incognito failing to operate. RJ45 punch down and connection. Strip back 2 inches of the outer protective sleeve. Separate all cores and flatten and straighten as much as possible. Ensure the cables are in the correct order. The outer sleeve must be well within the crimp area of the RJ45. Trim cables back to right length. Check plug is right way up. Insert and crimp. Placement of the AH10 Audio Hub. Bear in mind that when choosing where to situate your AH10 Audio Hub, it will require a mains power socket. It's a good idea to place it behind your existing hi-fi, as a power supply will be readily available. Do not install the AH10 near water or moisture. Do not connect the AH10 to the power supply until you have installed all other incognito components. You will need to think about whether you want an FM and aerial feed, coaxial cable for video and Sky Freeview connections. The AH10 has holes in all four corners for screwing to a wall. The AH10 is located alongside source components, which means you'll have two AH10 location options. Locate AH10 and source components in any convenient discrete location with adequate ventilation within the home, such as an understair cupboard, service room or cabinet, or if you want to use the same sources for the incognito system as being used by a conventional stereo or surround sound system, it is possible to route source equipment through the AH10 for output through existing hi-fi or home cinema amplifiers, whilst also distributing them for the rest of the home via the incognito system. Should this be required, your existing audio source equipment would first be connected to the AH10 and then routed from the six loop out sockets on the AH10 to the amplifier receiver in your system via high quality audio interconnect cable terminated at each end by phono RCA plugs. Finally, connect the PS10 power supply to your audio hub. One power supply is needed per four zones or four subzones. Multiple AH10s can be daisy-chained together to provide for the basis of up to 32 zones, 16 main zones and 16 subzones, with the use of a CK10 coupler kit. Situating the VH10 Video Hub The VH10 is situated next to the AH10. An RJ45 patch cable goes from the expansion out socket on the AH10 to the input on the VH10. Video sources are connected to the inputs as marked. This is all extremely straightforward. The VH10 Video Hub works in conjunction with the AH10 to provide video signals to all connected zones via RG6 CT100 coaxial cabling. Up to six video input sources and a CCTV input may be connected and distributed, with their corresponding audio signals routed through the AH10 as one of its dedicated six inputs. Power is provided by the AH10 via a CAT5E patch cable, so no extra power supply is required. Mounting the KP10 wall keypads. Strip back casing. Punch down cables onto correct KP10 cables. Strip down speaker wires and ensure that none are protruding as this will cause a fault. The DIP mode switch needs to be set to the right mode. If you're using a KP10 with another brand of A-Bus standard hub, then you'll need to set the switch to A-Bus mode. However, as Cambridge Audio and Incognito have various features superior to the competition, these won't work if you mix with another brand. For use in a full Incognito system, it must be in the AH10 position. Screw down. The KP10 EU version should be fitted into a standard single UK 47mm deep back box. The KP10 CU version should be fitted into a standard single US J box. The CAT5 cable running from the AH10 is terminated at the 8-way colour-coded punch-down connection on the rear face of the KP10. 
speaker cable is connected via screw terminals on the rear of the KP10. The keypad should ideally be positioned at a height of 138cm from the floor finish to the centre of the keypad, also carefully taking into account light switch locations, etc. It should also be placed at least 25 to 35 centimeters away from the outer edge of any door frame or wall edge. Locate away from direct and bright sunlight, which may affect infrared performance. Due to the fact that only low voltage is present at the keypad, it is safe to install it in a bathroom if located well away from the possibility of actual water contact. However, the ideal product for the bathroom is the AS10 active speaker, which negates the need for a keypad altogether. The LR10 remote control is simply pointed at the speaker and tone signals allow you to effectively change settings, thus giving you full keypad functionality. Cable Chasing Cat5e cable should be run through the installation in electrical conduit, either metal, non-metallic, rigid or intermediate wherever possible. Should conduit